test used to assess the treatment of syphilis is the options are VDRL, TPHA, FTA, ABS, FTA, ABS and TPHA. So here students, first of all, we should understand that the syphilis is basically a disease that is caused by triponema, right? Now this particular disease, which is caused by the triponema, that can be uh, like uh, the disease can be identified by direct method or by the serological test. So yes, if you want to test the presence of syphilis, okay, if you want to detect the syphilis, so there are two methods. One you can use the direct identification of the triponema. Direct identification. And the second kind of test is going to be using the serological test to detect the IgG or IgM antibodies. So that is going to be serological test. Okay. Now, in case of direct identification of the causative organism, that is the T palladium, so there will be direct microscopy that will be involved and there will be direct antigen detection test, okay, and there will be direct PCR. So, there can be PCR, there can be direct microscopy and there can be antigen detection direct. Now, coming to the serological test. There are going to be known triponemal tests for determining the disease activity. There can be triponemal tests for disease confirmation. Okay, so do two tests which we have to understand. One is for disease activity, and this is going to be your for the disease activity, it is going to be your known triponemal test. And yes, there will be triponemal test also that will help you to identify the disease or confirm the disease confirmation of the disease and yes there can be detection of triponemal IgM antibodies so there can be detection of IgM antibodies to detect early infection because IgM are the antibodies that will be telling you the early infection of the disease right now coming to the VDRL the venereal disease research laboratory test okay vdrl is what venereal disease research laboratory test so this is a screening test for the sexually transmitted infection that is syphilis that is caused by the spirochete that is your triponema pallidum so basically we use the known triponemal test which detects the antibody IgM and IgG antibodies that are going to be uh, ant antibodies against the lipoidal material that is re released from the damaged host cells okay so these are going to be antibodies and these antibodies are traditionally referred as reagents these are called as reagents okay so in case of VDR L, we are going to find out the IgM or IgG that is the reagents we have to detect. So you can use it for screening tests as well as you can use for titration and that can help you to do the proper follow ups. So during the follow up monitoring also you can use this particular test. What generally happens with these tests actually? Uh, jo, the response to the treatment so fun is going to be your quantitative test that are going to monitor the patient response to the treatment indicating the stage of the disease and in di uh, in detecting the reinfection while the vdrl or prp test these are the kind of tests uh, which are preferred because these usually become negative that these become negative during the course of treatment so whenever the uh, antibodies becomes less then you can say that the infection has reduced and that's why it is going to be used for treatment assessing the treatment of syphilis and that's why it can be used for follow-ups as well so if we quickly walk through the explanation response to the treatment quantitative test these are going to be test the response to the treatment indicating the stage of disease and detecting the infection so that is our vdrl so that is going to tell you how much IgG and IgM is there and if it is reducing over time that means the treatment is uh, the person is responding to the treatment. 
right so this is going to help you assess the treatment as well so correct answer is going to be your vdrl